welcome to the course of compiler design in the previous session we discussed the introduction of intermediate code generation phase of the compiler uh, today we are going to see different forms of the intermediate code uh, in detail there are two major phases of compilation uh, which in turn have many parts each of them take input from the output of the previous level so uh, if a compiler translate the source language to its uh, target machine language without having option for generating intermediate code then for each new line for each each machine a full native compiler is required uh, intermediate code eliminate uh, that is a need of a new full compiler for every unique machine by keeping the analysis portion that is the first part of the compiler same for all the uh, compilers the second part of the compiler that is in the says is changed according to the target machine that is uh, first part is uh, machine independent then the second part is machine dependent so we can reuse the first front end of the compiler for each uh, machines that is advantage uh, it become easy to apply uh, the source code modification to improve the code performance by applying the code optimization techniques on the intermediate code we can uh, easily apply uh, the intermediate uh, the code optimization techniques on intermediate code that is uh, there is another advantage of um, intermediate code that is uh, the need of uh, this space in our compiler then uh, come to the forms of the intermediate uh, code generation we can represent it, it in linear or non-linear you already see that some of the techniques that is uh, post fix code three address code single static assignment and uh, non-linear form contains uh, syntax, syntax tree and uh, dag and uh, control flow graph today we are going to see the uh, three address codes in uh, details uh, as we all know the three address code is a type of intermediate code which is easy to generate and it can easily convert it to machine code it make use of at most three addresses and one operator to represent an expression and the value of value computed at each instruction is stored in the temporary variable generated by the compiler that is uh, the three address code is, uh, is a code in which maximum or at most three addresses exist uh, there, is, there is a statement involving no more than three addresses is acceptable in us three address code that is it may contains maximum two operands and one uh, result that is a three references sometimes a statement may contains less than three reference also the compare decide the order of operation given by the uh, three address code then uh, come to the ex some example x equal to 2 it contains only one reference as uh, two reference that is it, x is a, this is usually to store the result and uh, second uh, reference is to the constant value 2 then x equal to a also it contains it more uh, uh, two reference that is a result uh, the result is stored in the x and uh, the, uh, the value of a is uh, copied to uh, x so these two statements are comes under the category copy statement so this is how the copy statement are represented in the three address code then come to the next uh, example that is x equal to x plus is set uh, here it contains a maximum three references that is x again x then is set um, then next instruction is the x equal to unary minus y it contains two references x and y and one operator that is unary minus then x equal to y star reset it also contains three references and one operator that is multiplication so these three symbols these, these three instructions that is x equal to x plus z and x equal to my unary minus y then x equal to y star z comes under the category assignment statements that is it is assigning some values uh, in the first case the first two instructions are copy statement 
here the value is copied to a one particular variables here some computation is there then uh, that uh, that value is assigned to that uh, variable these are the some examples then uh, come to another uh, example that is if x re operation that is a relational operation operator y go to z that means if this particular condition is satisfied then go to the target z it also contains a uh, three references that is x then y then z if x related uh, rel relation operation of uh, y c is satisfied then go to the particular con uh, particular condition then we, it is a conditional gem the, we are con we are changing the con control of the particular statement from uh, here to is that if the, that particular condition is satisfied that comes under the category conditional gem if x reop reoperation y go to is that is comes under conditional gem then uh, come to the uh, next example that is go to or fix there here there is no condition it is the directly the pro program control is going to the target address x so it we can say that it is a unconditional gem then come to the last uh, ex example that is parameter a parameter pram is parameter x call p return y this is in this uh, the p is a function which can which you have the parameter x and you return the value y so this is the example for procedure call so we can represent copy statement that is first two statement then assignment statement then uh, that is the x equal to x plus is that and x is equal to minus y and x equal to y star is that are assignment statement then conditional jump statement that is if x relation operation y go to is that then un unconditional gem go to x then we can also use the procedure calls or function calls uh, by using the uh, by three address code these are some examples for uh, three address code it contains at most three address then uh, come to the implementation or representation of uh, the three address code we can represent the uh, three address code in mainly in uh, three ways that is first one is quadruple then second is triple then last one is indirect triple so uh, the three address code can be represented by mainly in three ways that is the first one is a quadruple then second one triple then last one is indirect triple. first we can see how the particular statement is executed um, consider an expression that is x equal to uh, y plus z star y minus a here uh, the in this example contains uh, more than three references that is it is not in the uh, three address code so we will first convert this uh, expression into three address code then we will uh, represent this uh, three address code in all the three a representation of three address code so we can first convert uh, the, the this uh, expression to three address code uh, the evaluation order is represented by or uh, arranged by the processor compiler so here we assume that a star has the higher precedence than uh, all other operator then uh, then uh, plus and minus have same precedence and it is left associated also Based on the assumptions, uh, we can say that the first value calculated must be the Z star Y. So we will uh, perform the Z star Y first and uh, that value is stored in the temporary, res uh, uh, temporary register T1. Then, uh, the, then we, are, we are going to calculate uh, the Y plus the temporary value uh, generated from the previous steps. So uh, the value uh, y plus t1 is stored in the temporary register y t2 then that value is going to be added with the um, subtracted from uh, we are going to perform the uh, difference operator so the result of uh, t2 is 
sub is perform the subtraction on a so we will get uh, t2 minus a as a result and it will be store in the t3 finally the, there is an assignment statement that is the value of t3 is uh, is given to x so in the in this case uh, the uh, first three uh, instructions that is t1 equal to z char y then t2 equal to y plus t1 then t3 equal to t2 minus a are a seven statement the last one is x equal to t3 is a copy statement so we get uh, the three address code correspond to the expression x equal to y plus z star y minus a then uh, we can see how this uh, particular three address code is represented in different forms of the three address code the first form is code triple in the, from the name we can uh, see that there is it contains uh, four fields that is first one is uh, one operator then uh, then uh, two operands and one result so it is arranged like that it uh, the one operator then uh, two operands and one result our expression is given here that is a uh, x equal to y plus is that star y minus a other term, the three address correspond to the language uh, expression is t1 equal to z star y t2 equal to y plus t1 then t3 equal to t2 minus a and x equal to t3 here we construct a representation that is uh, uh, we are creating a data structure uh, for storing it uh, that is uh, like a table so uh, the result is used to store the result of the intermediate representations here you can see the in the table there are four columns that is first column is used to represent the operator the second column is used to represent the operand then third uh, operand one then the second uh, third column is used to represent the operand two then the last column is used to represent the result uh, also there is a, a indication uh, for the uh, rows uh, rolls 0 1 2 3 the, we will store uh, the each and every uh, intermediate code or three address code in the order uh, which are uh, executed in the table so we will uh, we will uh, store the first instruction or we will represent the first uh, three address code in the first column that is zero to column zero to row uh, that is uh, it contains the operator star then uh, the, the it has two um, operands that is z and y so uh, z will be stored in the operator part then operands z and uh, y are stored in the uh, second uh, the operator field Front field then the final result is stored in the t1 then uh, the second instructions the there are two operator uh, the, the one operator plus is stored in the operator field and two operand that is y and is a t1 that is stored in the operand field then the result is stored in the t2 then come to uh, the uh, next instruction that is t3 equal to t2 minus a it has a um, minus as operator and t2 and t3 t2 and the a as operands then the result is t3 then uh, uh, last statement contains only assignment statement that is operator then uh, the it also contains one operand that is t3 then uh, the result is stored in the x this is how the um, the code triple representation uh, store the three address code the one of the advantages is uh, it is easy to rearrange code for global optimization we can uh, rearrange the operations if we changing the computation then it is easy to rearrange the rows uh, in the table one can quickly access the values of temporary variable using symbol table that is another uh, advantage of the uh, this uh, three underscore uh, the three three underscore the quadruple representation uh, come to the disadvantage the it contains lot of temporary variables it is to, it, it needs a lot of temporary variables to represent the three address codes temporary variable creation and uh, creation increase the time and space complexity uh, in the implementation that is a, that is a disadvantage of this representation 
there are contains a lot of uh, temporary variables the creation uh, increase that creation of the temporary variables increase the time and space complexity of this uh, algorithm then come to the second uh, representation that is triple in the triple uh, we have three or we have only three fields to represent the uh, three address code the first one is the operator the second one is the operand there here there is no uh, field for to store the um, result the result value is the, the single uh, the, that is uh, in the case of the uh, this triple representation it does not make use of extra temporary variable to represent a single operation that is a result instead when the reference to another triple value is needed that is a case of triple so we are maintaining a pointer uh, to that the triple is used so it is consists of only three field that is first one is one of one operator and two operands so operator field is used to store the operator then uh, the two operands then the result is stored in the uh, stored is uh, result uh, stored in the location zero it is represented by zero Hmm. So uh, the, here we eliminate the use of the result field. So we will represent the result uh, uh, in, as the index to the row. So in the second statement t2 equal to y plus t1, the t1 result is stored in the location or index 0. So we will indicate only the index value of the result only. Then uh, come to the next statement t3 equal to t2 minus a here t2's value is restored in the index location 1 so uh, it will represent there then uh, also the last assignment st copy statement that is x equal to t3 the t3 value is stored at a location 2 so that value will be copied to the value x then final result x is uh, available at uh, the location 3 so this is the one of the or some uh, more uh, optimization of space and time complexity but in the here we have, we want to create we want to access uh, the each and every index of the table when whenever we need a result then uh, the temporary variables are implicit and difficult to rearrange the code that means we will if we uh, rearrange the code it is very difficult to change the uh, the pointers also it is difficult to optimize because the optimization involved moving the intermediate code when a triple is moved any other triple reference to it must be updated also that is another addition in which with the help of a pointer one can directly access the symbol table entry that is the only advantage of this uh, 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 triple representation then come to the uh, indirect triple representation here we are using uh, one pointer but it is not as a part of the triple representation the reference may make use of point to listing of all the reference to computations which is made separately and stored it is similarly in the utility as compared to the code the code table representation but required less space than it here you can see that the temporary are implicit and easy to rearrange the code come to the example there is uh, the the t the here we have the only uh, list of pointers to store the result uh, it is a we can say that it is a modification of triple representation it is a, we already have a triple then we are po we are providing some pointers to the result only here you can see that the the uh, triple representation in addition to that uh, uh, one list of pointers is used here that is uh, it may be starting from 22 uh, any any number uh, we are taking 22 as the number so the first result is uh, first result means first result is indicated by zero index so that index is stored in the location memory location 22 then uh, then and, and the next in uh, result is stored in 23 then 24 then 25 
like that the result is stored it, it, it can be stored anywhere we are taking uh, 22 as a memory location uh, in this case only okay this is about the uh, three address code representation that is there are three representation that is code triple triple and indirect triple to represent three address code then uh, we will see another forms of intermediate representation in the next section thank you